Yeah, you're good. How you doing? All right? Yeah, good. Good. This is a good spot, I reckon. All right. So, hey guys, my name's Josh. Uh, this is Connor here. Um, so, Connor, how how long we known each other now? About 10, 12 years, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's around that. I met in primary school through our through our friend Tom. Yeah. Good bloke. Yeah, good. good yeah, he's a good bloke. Good bloke. Chutney. Chutney. He's all right. Um, so I guess during that time we've both changed a lot and our perspectives on potential jobs have changed as well. Um, so can you just tell everyone what you're doing for work now? Um, currently working part time at a plant nursery just down the road and also my good friend Josh here got me a job teaching swimming just recently. I've just been working there for a couple of weeks now which is awesome fun working with the kiddies. So and before that you were working somewhere else as well? Or? Um, yeah, I've had a fair few jobs. I, um, on my year off I worked at a rose farm and I uh, worked at Coles for six years and just resigned recently and uh, well, I've done many things. I've worked in a cheesecake shop, <laughs> I've worked delivering parcels for Ozpost, which was shit. Um, yeah, heaps of stuff. Right, so why have you made the change now to do teaching? Um, oh, it's just a good opportunity, you know, character building, all that. It's good for me to practice my public speaking and speaking in front of other people yeah. um, for, for my university, of course, and, you know, it's just, it's good. It's good. It's a good skill to have, I think, and, and you know, it's, it helps um, when you're talking to other people as well. Yeah, for sure. And you're studying as well, so it's part-time jobs, really, or? Yeah, yeah. I try to work full-time on my time on my holidays, um, but yeah, I'm studying full-time, studying agricultural sciences. I was studying animal and veterinary biosciences for two years, and now I've just jumped into agricultural sciences, and I'm continuing. On. I've got credit points and I'm in my third year now. Yeah, right. So, are you going to, what are you going to do after that at the NG course? Um, well, because of the field it is, there's an abundant amount of jobs um, in agriculture. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll have a fair bit of choice, but I'm hoping to be an agricultural consultant. So, sort of be the guy who goes to farms when they're having issues with their crops or with their animals per se. Um, say their, you know, their wheat crops aren't producing enough yield. Uh, I'll be the guy who go comes and takes a sample of their crop and their soil and yeah, right. explain to them why their yield. So it might be a deficiency in certain nutrient in the soil, or there might be something wrong with the drainage in in the area they are, or something like that. Right, that's cool. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> should be good. Yeah, seems cool. So when you finished high school, did you go straight into the studying, or no? I, I took a year off. Um, which was the best decision I think I've ever made. And um, yeah, I, I worked for 10 months at the Rose Farm, like I said earlier. And then I traveled with you and a few other boys around Southeast Asia for, what was it, a month, six weeks or something? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which was awesome as well. So you think that was a good call, not jumping straight into study then? Or? Yeah, definitely. I, I urge everyone to do it if they're not quite certain on what they want to do. Um, I think, um, yeah, it was the best decision I made. I, I, wasn't after 12 years of studying you know after 12 years of schooling i oh, wasn't ready to jump in. straight back into study i wanted some time off not to have to do homework and not to have too much to think about when i get home from being somewhere you know i didn't want to take any work home with me i just wanted to be able to split my you know job or whatever i was doing from you know what i wanted to be doing at home yeah, that sure. be relaxing or just doing whatever i wanted yeah that's it so do you feel your school like was supportive of like your decisions, sort of going out of school? Um, yeah, definitely for me, but that was because I, or I'd always planned on going to university and they always urge people to take a year off and travel and see the world and, you know, do those things. But um, I suppose not everyone was interested in studying after high school. It's, it's probably, you know, uh, not massive, but some people do, some people don't. Um, but yeah, you know, they, they definitely urge for people to, to continue on studying and further their um, knowledge. But yeah, I don't think that's for everyone. Yeah, so do you think they, when they're trying to make people like further their knowledge, they push that too hard or? Well, that, I, uh, yeah, to an extent, I think. Um, uh, yeah, I think they do. <laughs> Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, they don't um, really open up open doors for everything you know like some people don't want to study they want to get straight into work but not everyone wants to be a tradie 
per se. So yeah. I, don't know, I think I think um, there needs to be a few more options and people need to know what the options are. Yeah. So do you think that's the best options? Let them know that there's sort of options there. I think there's. Uh, I, I think it's hard. It's hard, you know, there, there needs to be a way to do it, but I think it's hard for high schools to do it. Like, when we're so sheltered in high school, everything everything's spoon-fled to us. Like, all the information we need to do our assignments and do our homework is all spoon-fed to us and on a small piece of paper, and then we just go home and answer some questions about that piece of paper. Yeah. Everything's very easy for us to do, and we, we have no chance to see the world around us. And then, so how are we supposed to make a decision on what we want to do for the rest of our lives if... You know, if we've got no idea what goes on out there. Yeah, but just a little bit of paper. And then, course, yeah. yeah, you get to uni, like, after doing that, and they're like, yeah, here's an assignment. Go find the information yourself. And it's like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, for sure. So do you think, like, you had enough information from the school about, all right, this is your course. Are you sure this is what you want to do sort of thing? No, nah, not at all. They, they sort of just let us guess what we wanted to do. Um... And I changed my mind several times. Like I originally had got into PE and outdoor ed teaching before I took my year off. And then I changed my mind a couple times on my year off. I think I changed my mind to occupational therapy at one stage. Um, and yeah, finally found myself wanting to work with animals and plants. And I'm glad I, like, I wouldn't have found my way there without taking my year off. Yeah, so you think like compared to your, like, your general work that you were doing or your study, What's given you a better idea of what you wanted to do? Um, I think just working, like taking taking that year off and and working for ten months, and also um, also traveling. So taking the time off to work that made me realize how hard full time work is, and committing yeah. to such a thing is so massive that you know that's that's the rest of your life. While you can cr- change career paths, I mean, you're always going to be working majority of the week and and majority of the year and that's a that's a big commitment and I just wasn't ready to make that commitment that helped me decide that I wanted to go back and study and you know I wanted to be qualified in something to um, you know a bit of bit of uh, backdrops you know so I had some confidence in yeah, yeah confidence in going forward and um, tra- traveling you know seeing the world was one of the best things I've done like I've, I've been to Africa I've been to Southeast Asia and we're heading to Europe this year and I'm still not at the end of my course so like you know, I've been to a few places and it helps decide like that all that all those travel all that traveling helped me decide that I wanted to work outdoors, I wanted to be with animals, I wanted to be with plants. So Yeah. Yeah. So that's the best advice you reckon you give? Go go travel, take that time off sort yeah. of thing? Take the time off. Definitely work because, you know, get a taste for full time work before you commit to it. And definitely travel, see the world, it's the best thing to do. Meet new people. You know, get some confidence in as many different areas as you can. I think that's what I've done, and I I wouldn't regret. I haven't regretted anything except for a couple bad jobs <laughs> here and there. Yeah, that's all a learning curve for sure. So, did you make these decisions sort of by yourself, or like what sort of support did you have, like through your friends, family, or something um, like that? Yeah, I definitely came to these decisions by myself. But um, I have an older brother and an older sister who I've been fortunate enough to learn from their mistakes and also like things that they've done right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had my my family supported me in whatever I've done, like what everything I've done. As long as I have a plan, or as long as I don't know, they, my mum and dad always just said they had full confidence in me and that I would find my way, and they just let me do my thing. Yeah, nice. All right. So you think you're fairly settled now? Like you're not gonna change again? I guess. Ah, uh, can never be <laughs> sure, can you? <ya>? Yeah. <laughs> but no, nah, I'll, I'll stick it out. I'll finish this course, and I'll. I'll get my bachelor in agricultural sciences and get a job in that and see how I like it and you know I'll probably stick that out for a few years. I've heard the pay is not too bad, so yeah, um, stick that out and um, I, I can't imagine not liking the work. And but even if if the time comes, I do feel like changing. You know, I'm happy to go back and study a bit more. I'm happy to go back and further my degree, like do my honours or my masters or something, and you know continue studying. Like I've had. I've had a great time studying and I just I love learning new things so yeah sure that's really cool alright well thanks for having a chat to us today that's um, right, Josh, eh? yeah so that's pretty much all we've got no worries enjoy guys yeah, thanks <laughs>